Hi everybody, welcome back to Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics. Uh, I got an unboxing today. <clears throat> My good friend, Robbie Chan, uh, and Elvis Ha in California. The Blue Crown guys, you guys should all know them. Uh, they sent me an order, uh, Extreme Black King Kongs. Uh, let me see, uh. If I can turn this around. I don't know if you guys... I can't figure out how to get this thing to switch from front to back. So I have to kind of turn it around this way. Hopefully you guys can see me. Anyways, <clears throat> so those came in today. We're going to open them up. Put them in the tank. Over there that I've had ready. I mean, I could put them in this one probably. But that one's been sitting a lot longer. So... Uh, We'll probably put them in over there, but let's uh, get them out of the box and uh, take a look at them. Spin you back around over here. Hope everybody's been doing good. Uh, it is like super hot here today. It says it's supposed to be 81 degrees. Yeah, right. 81 degrees where? In my basement with the AC going probably, but... Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get everything, uh, prepared around here. Uh, all the shrimp are doing really good. I actually have, uh, Bloody Mary babies now. Um, I have, uh, uh my teenage tigers. And the funny thing about that is I haven't seen any babies in there and, Ever and when I looked yesterday, my wife had said that she thought she saw some in the Bloody Mary, so I went and looked in the Tangerine Tigers, and lo and behold, there's babies in there. That look like they're a month old. So, I mean, I never didn't even have a clue. <clears throat> but yeah, I have that tank. There's empty, waiting. Uh, pan this over. I have a small five gallon over there that's waiting. Um, uh, yeah, my extreme blue bolts up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's coming around. Oh, yeah, you guys haven't seen this in a while. I uh, changed in some of the big fish. Got some more fish from Lake Malawi. Uh, a few of the really beautiful. Where is he at? Right there. Yeah, look at that. The colors on these guys are crazy. Some of them, you know, of course, if you know about cichlids, they, they don't color up until late. But they're real pretty right now. It's actually, I uh, can't believe how much color they actually do have going on right now. But, uh, yeah, the blue diamonds over here, those are doing really well. The crystal reds. The orange-eyed blue tigers on top, they should be spitting out babies anytime soon. Everybody's doing good. It's just this wreck here that I have to wait to get going before I can actually, you know, open doors and really start servicing everybody with everything that I have. This top rack over here has my fancy tigers in it. Uh, the bottom rack has the wild ketaglons. Those are super nice. I got those from Hung Tron. If anybody knows him, he's a, uh, he might not be somebody that everybody knows, but his breeding is, I mean, just his care and it's just uh, top notch. But let's see, what do we get in this one? I made another order from him last night because they're having a, a sale so I couldn't miss out on it because I try to get I try to get shrimp cheaper I try to contact people and have them send me cheaper shrimp you know that are on sale or make a sale for me so I could bring them to my customers cheaper I mean I think that's a big deal oh look at this how cute that's cool 6265 pH TDS 110 130 KH Zero to one, GH5. Three to four, six to eight. Temperature, 70, 73. Neocaridina, caridina. 
Uh, what are you trying to tell me? I can put it in uh, Caradina? Drip pack, many time in a bowl, slow drip punch. About 30 minutes to an hour. Net the shrimp shot and insert them into the tank without any old chipping water. Okay, yeah, we know all that stuff. But I just had to read it because they took time to package it. So, Ugh, yeah, we'll keep all this nice box. I make my own boxes, but everybody keeps the old stuff because why? I mean, it's perfect. Ooh, send me some little mucha. Mucha, mucha. They're uh, dry goods. Really, really good. The thing is, is I put it up against the food I make, my shrimp cake, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, high quality. They really they eat it like they do my shrimp cake. So I know that it's got good uh, ingredients in it. Cause man, are the Caradina uh, picky, 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 picky. They don't want to eat anything. So I only got. What I got? I think I only have 10 shrimp in here. This is a heavy box for 10 shrimp. I don't know what the heck I got coming. I don't know what I got going on in here. Maybe I am. No, it's no, it's just packing. This must be those cold packs that they put in. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking. They always get me. I think that uh, I'm like getting something for free. And it's not. It's just the cold packs. I like to get these thrown away as soon as possible. I don't know what's in these friggin' things. And the last ones that came, they were leaking got all over my and my son's hands. And like I said, I don't know what's in them. So, oh, uh, this time, oh yeah, look at that. They put it in a plastic bag. Nice. Okay, so now that it, it's doubled. So now there is no leaking. So I don't know, maybe they saw my last video and seen that the slime was all over Luke's hands. Uh, let me get up here and get a, get a set of scissors. I'll throw that away in a minute. Since it ain't leaking, I don't have to worry. All right. Let's get this bad boy cut open. I really like how they put, man, they put these metal bands around here. I mean, it's super cool. I used the rubber bands, but I guess I can't get any better than this. You know, a rubber band works real nice, but... These are like super, super sharp, so I don't have to use two hands. Yep. Just put it in, like I said, just put in another order to these guys. Oh, it's just something about them. Uh, you know, I ran into them a while ago when I was started into this. Not personally, but I kind of just fell upon them one day. Started talking to... Uh, Started talking to uh, Elvis, and that guy just, he'll talk your ear off and give you any information you want. He's like an encyclopedia, and you don't even, I mean, it's like it doesn't even waste his time. Like, he's not even bothered by it. He likes, loves talking about the shrimp so much. Um, and then, you know, of course, I got, started talking to uh, Elvis, I mean, uh, Robbie, and, uh, and we just, you know, started our little business hookup. And, uh, oh, Jesus, pizza, those guys are little. But that's perfect. See, I like them little. I don't know anybody. I mean, yeah, I hate, I hate having to wait for them to grow up, for them to breed, and, you know, everything like that. But, I mean, it just doesn't matter. High, you know, high quality shrimp. Just something that sometimes you have to do, you know. And, of course, anyone who uh, sends stuff, they should know that the smaller the better. I even send smaller shrimp than this. See, they import these in. So, you know, importers, you know, they have a who knows how many shrimp. Well, I'm a breeder, so I don't have that many shrimp, you know, as you see. You know, what grows in my tanks is what I send to you. So for some reason, I send you ones that are juveniles or even a little smaller. Like I have customers that say they love them, you know, when they come small because they don't have to worry about them acclimating, uh, you know, having a hard time with it. I don't send you little ones because, you know, I want to send you these little itty bitty ones that'll take forever to, 
to grow up and mature. But a lot of people, I believe, think that, you know, and they get upset because they want to, uh, they want to put the shrimp in their tank and it start pumping out babies in 30 days. Well, you know, uh, I probably like that too, but you know, I don't, when I order from somebody, I don't say, Hey, you know, I want the shrimp a certain age. You know, it's kind of like having my kids, you know, all I want is healthy. You know, just make sure that they're all alive and they'll all live. That's all I care about. You know, time will come when they, uh, when they're ready, you know, for them to do their thing. But, uh, this is the, the hardest part is trying to get all this out with one hand. Well, give me two seconds. Let me do this. That's it. Well, that was easy. All that was stuck in there was the grass. The moss. So. Well, they put pure gin in it. That's the first, I think. I don't believe I've ever seen. But with the heat and them being a little bigger. Um. That's what they did, I believe. So if you want to follow me over here real quick, I'll show you where they're going. Maybe uh, you guys can put them in there. 